Hello, hello beautiful souls. I'm here at the beach. <laughs> what else is new? This is one of my favorite spots. I'm back to Vancouver and I came to visit Crescent Beach and spend some time with my girlfriend. I want to share this to you. So awesome. I love coming here because there's not too many people, so private. And earlier, the eagles were flying. So what else is you? March, I feel like spring had sprung. <laughs> spring has sprung. So new and energy in Pisces is about, you know, creativity dreams your intuition flowing it's a water sign so march 15 today and i was just spending time connecting to to tell us the temple of lights and just really soaking it all in about unconditional love your sacred heart and how we can be a, um, a facilitator, like a space for others to feel that they belong, you know, like welcoming them, allowing them to be in their space of um, acceptance. So today we were talking about uh, people who are going through uh, a lot of suffering and I just finished a four days work in the nursing home and I was just listening to one of our new resident, you know, quite young, 73 years old and, you know, having a family and going through cancer. So it's really a tough time when you're going through a dark night of the soul especially when you're challenged with life and death, there's a lot of, it's like an inventory of your life where you are now and um, suddenly you find yourself being alone, uh, feeling deep sadness, getting isolation feeling separated from your um, family because you're unable to you know uh, others cannot take care of you so you ended up in a nursing home it's quite a um, it's, it's such a sad space really so for me as a nurse or even you know not at work I feel like a lot of people just really need someone to listen to them so we can be a space of unconditional love so they, then they can feel that they matter, that they are, you know, validated. It's really a heart-to-heart -heart connection, feeling acceptance so my message today is about how you can be a space for others to feel loved and how you can shift their perception into a higher perspective so we all go through this as we experience uh, victim consciousness. Oh my God, these eagles are so low. You gotta see this. They're playing, they're dancing. I wish you could see them. There's like two, four, six, eight, eight eagles flying. Because hmm. sometimes we forget that we were there once, we were victim before and now as an evolved light worker you're in a in a higher space where you recognize your higher self your soul 
So then we are given this uh, opportunity with the masters of light, with the angels and archangels, our spiritual teams and guides to be a messenger of hope, of um, belonging, acceptance, really being a vehicle of unconditional love. So if we can do that, be that space for others, we're able to anchor this golden light to help others in their dark night of the soul. Sometimes we forget that um, we are all one. So whatever is happening to others, we've been there in our uh, history, in our past. So this is the time to be present. Be present to what is being presented to you. So for me, showing up, it's like really I show up, right? If I have a... If I have a job that day as a nurse, I show up and I, I become present to, to the person that's with me. And then we can, you know, gather these um, experiences and be one, be one with, with the rest of the world. So today I visited my son's altar. I created one here for Theo and my mother. On February, I made that one. The roses are still there. So sweet. Just feel so much love to, to create a portal, like your sacred space. So you can, you know, you can be with all these amazing gifts of nature. We are so blessed. Hmm. I think I'm going to say a prayer. I'm just going to find a space where I can sit down and see this ocean. So nice to walk in nature. All right, I'll find a space here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So let's pray for healing for those who are going through suffering, dark night of the soul. You know, people that are feeling uh, being alone. Okay, you can close your eyes and take a deep breath. We call upon Archangel Raphael, this green emerald ray of light upon us to co-create this sacred space for our healing and the healing of the collective. We ask Archangel Raphael to heal our cellular level of consciousness and memories, deeply penetrating our core being to be a vehicle of light for those who are suffering in their dark night of the soul. We ask for support, assistance that these souls that are feeling isolated, that are in deep pain, physically, emotionally, mentally, to find a ray of hope, of light, deep within them, 
to ignite the spark of light, of healing, connecting to the source of love and life. And so it is. Well, thank you so much for listening and may you feel at home um, and be a space of unconditional love for others. Thank you and have a beautiful, blessed day. Namaste.